Piper Laurie is an actress known for her roles in movies and television shows over many years. She has been a part of the film industry since she was a teenager and has played many different characters. People remember her for her strong performances and ability to make any role seem real. Now think back to when you first saw Piper Laurie. Was it in one of her classic films or a more recent role? What qualities do you believe make her a lasting figure in the movie industry? Share your most memorable moment or personal story about Piper Laurie. Your stories are important and we want to hear them in the comments. Stay tuned because we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about Piper Laurie to share with you. Keep watching to find out more. Piper Laurie is an actress whose performances have left a significant mark on the film industry. Born as Rosetta Jacobs, she adopted her stage name and made her film debut at a young age. Her role in the movie, The Hustler, earned her an Academy Award nomination, showcasing her talent and setting her apart from her peers. Her portrayal of Carrie White's mother and Carrie further solidified her position as a respected actress. Despite taking a break from acting to focus on her family, she returned to the screen with renewed vigor, demonstrating her dedication to her craft. Piper Laurie's career is a testament to her skill and passion for acting, making her a notable figure in the history of cinema. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Margaret White and Carrie earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress, while her co-star Sissy Spacek was nominated for Best Actress. The film received recognition from the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films and won the grand prize at the Avrias Fantastic Film Festival, with Spacek receiving a special mention. Laurie, who initially mistook the film for a black comedy, found humor in her character's fanaticism and the script often laughing during production. In contrast, her role as Sarah Packard in The Hustler revealed Paul Newman's humble nature to her as he attributed his success to others and downplayed his own acting skills. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Helen Booth in The Crossing Guard showcased her alongside esteemed actors Jack Nicholson and Angelica Houston. Her return to the screen as Margaret White and Carrie marked a significant turn in her career. After a long hiatus following The Hustler, Laurie was initially puzzled by the Carrie script, finding it cliched. It was only after her husband suggested a comedic lens, typical of director Brian De Palma style, that she grasped the role's essence. This revelation transformed her performance in the film, which also starred Oscar winner Sissy Spacek and nominees John Travolta and Amy Irving. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Sarah Packard in The Hustler marked a significant point in her career. After this role, she took a break from acting for 15 years to focus on her family life. Her return to cinema was marked by her role in Carrie, which earned her another Academy Award nomination. In her memoir released in 2011, Laurie disclosed a personal encounter with Mel Gibson during the filming of Tim. Despite the age gap and her marital status, she shared details of their brief relationship. Laurie's role as Margaret White and Carrie was initially perceived by her and co-star Nancy Allen as comical due to the exaggerated nature of the characters. However, the final portrayal revealed a darker tone, contrasting with their initial impressions. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Margaret White and Carrie was intense, especially since the self-inflicted wounds seen on screen were real, not makeup effects. In The Hustler, she brought Sarah Packer to life, a role that many actresses, including Carol Eve Rossum, were considered for. Laurie's talent shone through in her collaborations with Sissy Spacek, playing her mother in Carrie, her sister in The Grass Harp, and reuniting for Midwives. These roles highlight her ability to adapt to different on-screen familial relationships with authenticity. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Sarah Packard in The Hustler is a significant role in her acting career. Before Laurie, Kim Novick had the opportunity to play Sarah but declined the offer. Laurie's personal life includes her daughter Anne Grace Morgan Stern, born on January 9, 1971, whom she shares with her former husband Joe Morgan Stern. In her memoir Learning to Live Out Loud, published in 2011, Laurie disclosed a personal detail from her youth. Her first intimate experience was with Ronald Reagan while they worked on the film Louisa. At that time, Reagan was much older than Laurie, who was a teenager, and he portrayed her father in the film. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Margaret White and Carrie remains a significant part of her acting career. 
Her performance was revisited during a special screening of Carrie in 2016, which also served as a fundraiser for the West Park Cancer Center. The event included a discussion with cast members, where Nancy Allen expressed her discomfort with the physical aggression depicted in the film. Laurie's connection to G. David Skine highlights a historical moment, as Skine's military draft led to the infamous Army McCarthy hearings. In the original version of Carrie, Laurie's character was involved in a scene that was ultimately removed from the film. This scene showed a more intense interaction between her and the protagonist, which was meant to be echoed later in the movie, but was cut due to technical issues. Piper Laurie brought depth to her role as Sarah Packard in The Hustler, forming a genuine connection with co-stars Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward. Despite her initial awe of Newman's striking presence, she quickly adapted, enjoying the collaborative process during their two-week rehearsal period. Transitioning to her portrayal of Margaret White and Carrie, Laurie's performance was informed by a notable change from the book. Carrie's prom dress, envisioned as red velvet, was instead peach satin on screen. Laurie's line about the dress color was a clever improvisation, reflecting the adaptation. After a significant hiatus from film, Laurie's return to the big screen with Carrie marked her first theatrical role since The Hustler, re-establishing her presence in cinema after a decade away from the spotlight. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Sarah Packard in The Hustler marked a significant turn in her acting career, showcasing her talent in a dramatic role. Her dedication to the craft was evident as she immersed herself in the character's world, spending time at a Greyhound terminal to better understand the life of Sarah. After this role, she stepped away from the screen, focusing on her family life and not returning to film until her role in Carrie in 1976. In another film, The Golden Blade, she played Kaurizen, and prepared extensively for the dance sequences, only to be replaced by a dance double for the final scenes. This dedication to her roles highlights her commitment to authenticity in her performances. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Sarah Packard in The Hustler showcased her ability to bring depth to her characters. She and George C. Scott, who had worked together in Winterset, reunited on screen for this film. Laurie's dedication to her role was evident in her approach to Sarah's physicality. She initially tried to create Sarah's limp by placing pebbles in her shoes, but later decided to portray it subtly, aligning with director Robert Rawson's vision for an inconsistent limp that would engage the audience intermittently. In Italy, where her films were widely enjoyed, Laurie's voice was primarily dubbed by Rosetta Calavetta. Other voice actresses like Miranda Bonancy and Maria Piedimio also contributed at different times. For The Hustler, Fiorella Betty provided the dubbing, adding a unique touch to Laurie's performance for the Italian audience. The collaboration of these voice talents helped bring Laurie's performances to life for viewers across Italy. Piper Laurie's portrayal of Sarah Packard in The Hustler earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress, a distinction that set her apart as the sole nominee from a Best Picture contender that year. Her performance, marked by a whispered mystery from co-star George C. Scott, remains a topic of curiosity. Scott's inaudible words to Laurie in a pivotal scene were a deliberate choice, leaving the power of imagination to define their significance. The film's production saw Laurie's commitment to her role extend beyond the screen. She transformed her modest, windowless dressing room into a personal retreat, hinting at her deep connection to the character of Sarah. This dedication to her craft, an environment exemplified Laurie's immersive approach to acting. In The Hustler, Piper Laurie brought Sarah Packer to life, sharing the screen with acclaimed actors Paul Newman and George C. Scott, as well as fellow nominees Jackie Gleason and Vincent Gardenia. Her portrayal of Sarah Packard was marked by a subtle connection to the film's themes, underscored when Eddie and Charlie arrive in a discontinued Packard car, hinting at the bygone era Sarah represents. Laurie's experience on set was one of quiet dedication. She focused on her performance, describing the environment as concentrated and businesslike, with little room for leisure. Her interactions were limited. She never crossed paths with Gleason, but did enjoy meeting Scott. The set was a blend of professional tension and brief moments of enjoyment, reflecting the serious nature of the film's production. Piper Laurie's career faced a significant setback after her Oscar-nominated performance in The Hustler. Despite her success, she stepped away from acting for 15 years. This hiatus was partly due to the challenges she faced in finding roles that were as fulfilling as the character of Sarah Packard. A return to the screen and Carrie marked a triumphant comeback, but the long absence from her craft is a poignant reminder of the difficulties actors can face in Hollywood.